Well, hello there, everybody. Trey here, and welcome to Paradise. Have you ever wanted to be a middle-aged, beefy man that has had a dream of running a sushi empire? Well, now you can, because we're going to be checking out Dave the Diver, and this is the Dave man himself, gut and all. This is a game that I'm super excited about. If you are a fan of games like Cat Goes Fishing, well, this is kind of a similar premise, except I would say it's a lot more in-depth. And did that crab just bite my nuts? Yes, it did. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm checking out the demo today, and, uh, well, we're gonna see what Dave is all about. And yes, as you can see, uh, these guys clearly love sushi, and, uh, I think we're gonna be going to get some of that pretty soon here. So pack your bags, let's go to the deep, and see what kind of fish we can catch in this really weird and interesting game. Welcome to Dave the Diver. All right, our first day on the job, we got here quickly. I was told to hurry. I was on vacation, you know, so where's the sushi at? Don't rush yourself, have a look around. This is the giant blue hole. So is this the first world? It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Okay, so is it randomly generated, that means? Interesting. I am so glad that Dave is a beefy man because a big guy in a wetsuit is the most adorable thing ever. Anyways, we're taking our first dive, obviously, on a little bit of a tutorial right now. Uh, but yeah, this game looks fantastic. I can't wait to show you more of it because I just love weird and odd games like this. Look at that majestic beast. All right, so we got movement. We also got a speed boost. Not very fast because, well, Dave's a big guy, but hey, it's fast enough. We, we also have weapons. Dory, come here. Let me slice you. They are, I can't believe that actually worked. Usually they're pretty fast at getting away. But yes, you can dagger fish and obviously some will attack you. And that's probably mostly what the dagger is for. What we're going to be mostly using is the harpoon. Dory, once again. No, let's go for this little guy. There we go. Okay, that was a little overkill, man. A harpoon for that little thing. Let's get this yellow tang. Nope, never mind. I missed it. I'm a great shot. I'll go for this one, though. There we go. And yes, this is the premise of the game. Obviously, as we go out and explore and build our sushi empire, we can upgrade our equipment. Right now, getting small fish is pretty easy, but obviously, the deeper we go, the more dangerous it is. So now that I get the hang of it, let's get down to business. Uh, everybody loves sushi. If you don't love sushi, there's something wrong with you. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started the restaurant with my friend that sells a one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where the fish from all over the world can be found. So I guess this is a one-map location and it's randomly generated from what it sounds like. Why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I'm down. I mean, I'm here to kill fish. I may as well earn some money doing it as well. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. So I am the diver. I mean, hence the name of the game. Let's accept this deal. And uh, yeah, I guess we're working for a sushi restaurant. All right. I guess we're going to the restaurant now. So uh, that was a quick dive for day one. It does look like we can maybe work for multiple restaurants as well, being that this is a menu that has options. Uh, so I guess we're just starting out with the sushi. I love the art style of this game. It makes me so happy. All right, here we are. Bancho, are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. You are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Yeah, I'm Dave. Dave the Diver, they call me. Nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. I like Everybody likes sushi. Why are you saying that? My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to... Well, here comes Mother Nature attacking you, I guess. <laughs> um, are we still going to be working for this sushi restaurant? Is it okay? Okay, it's definitely not okay. At least it's still standing, I guess. The interior really is quite a mess. It looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs for doing business. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Uh, yeah, I have three whole fish, I believe. Yep, won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish. Okay, Bancho. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. What the hell's the incident? It's nice to see him like this. Yeah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have brought that up. Anyways, catch seven more fish. I want to know what the incident was now. All right, well, we got to go make some money and uh, catch some fish for good old Bancho. So let's get out there. I guess tutorial is pretty much over now. I'm already in the red for money. What did I even buy? All right, I'm excited, though. I do want to go deeper and get some of the good fish because I feel like if I bring back basic fish, Bancho won't be too happy with me. Ooh, what's that? It's shiny. 
Hello, shiny thing. Oh, it's a blue seashell. I don't know why I would collect those, but okay. Um, so this is randomly generated. I'm wondering if there's caves and whatnot. Oh my god, the coral responds to me. Can I get the seahorse? I want to kill that seahorse. There it is. Oh, we can't eat seahorse? That would be a very exotic sushi. All right, there's something else over here. I don't really want to get close to jellyfish. Oh, wood. Okay. I don't... I, is this like a survival game now? Or are, are we going to have to craft our freaking shelter? Ah, oh, treasure as well. It looks like maybe a tuna below us or something. I do have an oxygen meter, so I have to be careful. Electric bang stick. Um, okay. Is this... Oh, this is a melee weapon. Okay, I feel a lot safer now because before I had a dagger. Okay, this, this fish is nice looking. Just out of range. I can't let it get away. It's going to tell his friends. Oh, 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 this is a bigger fish. Okay, so I have to get it into the green. Got it. All right, we'll try and get some of these tunas as well, or whatever they are. It looks like there's different colored tuna as well. I'm going to focus on one because it is doing damage to it. So I think I got to damage it before I can catch it. Uh, okay, now we're getting deep. We have cuttlefish, squid. Uh, that looks like a goliath grouper of some sort. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. I want to try and catch this thing. This might have been a hard fish to catch, though. Okay, you know what? Why is my oxygen going down so quickly? I thought it was... I thought it was second base. So the deeper I go, the faster the oxygen goes down. I, I am embarrassed. My first dive alone and I die. So I can keep one item. Um, I don't know what's useful in the game yet. So I'm going to keep the fragment. I feel like that was a little bit deeper. So that might be good. I don't know. Let's try again, shall we? Now we know it's not second base. I thought I had an extra time. Oh my God, Dave's all winded. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm new to this. All right, so maybe let's stick to the shallows until we get a better oxygen tank, because, um, yeah, again, I thought it was counting down in seconds at the far left. I was totally wrong with that. So I'm going to stay in the shallows for now. Going down deep probably isn't the smartest thing either. All right, there we go. I'm going to get some small fish, too. I'm not going to be as picky as I once was, because uh, I just want to get this quest done. What is this, bullets? Oh, I lost my new weapon. I thought, oh, I didn't even think about that. Hold on. Is there a chest over here? Ah, uh, yes. There we go. I found another treasure chest. Um, What is it? Okay, the same thing as before. We have a bang stick. So I wonder if I can, like, surprise this guy. Come on. I'm, I'm going on the chase. Yes! <laughs> okay, the bang stick's pretty good. Six damage. I will gladly take that. Um, Yeah, still not the best range, though. Running out of air. How am I so good at running? Oh, my God. How am I? What is going on? Why? Why does this game hate me? Okay, so I'm just going way too deep. Come on, Dave. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. We're only 12. Oh, we're dead. We're freaking dead again. What is wrong with this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish it told me in seconds. I wasn't even that deep this time. Oh, God. I suck. <laughs> All right, so my goal now is to find some of that oxygen and just chill by it. There we go. I, it's usually over here. Um, I'm just going to have to fish around this thing. I did notice that when I use my shift, it does waste oxygen. So I guess we're not going to use that, and we're just going to try and bring fish to us. I'm sorry, Nemo, but I have to get you as well. Oh, so I didn't even notice that there's ranks of fish as well. So if I try and get another one, is it still two stars? Because that last one was two stars. So, I wonder if it's just a specific fish. What are those? Oh, wow. I have to actually actually fight this guy? An ornate wrasse. Interesting. All right. So, when it's red, I'm at critical depth. I didn't even see that before. What is a sleepy toy hammer? So, let's get back up. So, I can go to about 40 meters right now. And then my oxygen rapidly depletes. I'm slowly understanding. The tutorial didn't really explain that. All right. So, I got my seven fish. Um... I am supposed to make 100 gold. I'm going to stay down here just for a little bit, only because I have this oxygen and I want to collect these things. Last time, this didn't go well, though, so let's just be careful. Also, this is an escape pod. I believe that just means I can get to the top quickly. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How convenient. Thanks. Looks like you caught quite a few. Yeah, it only took me three deaths almost. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. I'll have to hurry and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? So I guess I'm preparing the sushi as well. This game is so interesting. Uh, all right, wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. So I can only dive twice a day. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hours start. All right, so let's go to the sushi bar and get things done. It is time-based too, so I actually have to get there in time. 
How are the preparations coming along? I think it's mostly set. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're here to help run the sushi bar from today onwards. Also, is this place, should it really be open? I feel like it's a little dangerous in here still after the earthquake. Cobra told me there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else for that but you? So I guess I'm not just Dave the diver. I'm Dave the sushi preparer as well. All right, so what do we do here? Open ingredients. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials. This is in-depth, man. For now, that's all I need to know. Come back later for more information. Um, So I can sell it. I thought I was actually preparing these. I might actually be. All right, so we can work on the menu. Uh, recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay, so yeah, interesting. Anything that I catch, I can prepare. Being that this has up arrows, let's prepare that. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill ingredients. So stock management is a big strategy. So I actually have to search for fish depending on how much they're worth, I'm assuming. This is really interesting. I like the whole premise of running a business while catching fish. You can also enhance the flavor of dishes with MSG, of course. So try it out if you have enough ingredients. I did get some salt. So yeah, let's see what we can do here. All right, so my partner wants green tea. Um, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, thank you. I'm good at pouring drinks. And now Cobra wants something to eat. Uh, I'm curious to see how the sushi works. Wait until the cooking's done. Okay, so he cooks and then I prepare. Dude, this is so interesting. I love this. All right, so I gotta go grab the food. Give me the food. You can dash when serving food. You shift to move quickly. <laughs> Poor Dave's gonna lose a lot of weight doing this. Run! Run, Dave! <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Wait, why, why did he leave? Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. There's something about a package. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Uh, well, that sucks. So I can discard with Q. I should just eat it. Okay, and I think we are ready to go. I just have to work on the menu first. We want to obviously fill this thing with more selections. Um, I'm thinking the number means I have that many. Uh, looking at the pricing here, obviously these ones are lower. This is so interesting. So I do want to go for the bigger fish if I want to earn money. I'm assuming I get the money for upgrades. I can also enhance. I can make it level two, but I need four trigger fish. So I guess I can't do that yet. Um, we're going to do max. All right. looks like there is different tiers as well that have uh, more dishes. So I need to get bronze, whatever that means, to get more. Anyways, I think we're ready to go. Let's open for business. And uh, yeah. Let's get started, dude. This is so cool. All right. I am so bad at games like this, but uh, I'm going to do my best. He is making the blue one. So I got to go over here and give it to this person. There you go. I thought I would have to prepare the sushi. I guess I don't. What is this? Okay, this one. Okay, I like that they're lit up. I was worried I'd have to like pay attention to who ordered what. Seems like it's a little bit easier than that. All right. You have this, sir. Here you go. I'm slowly running out of wasabi, which is kind of worrying. All right. I'm going to go do that. And there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. All right. I am out of two of the dishes. So I want to, I wonder if I should change those. So yeah, you can do it on the fly, which is really cool. Um, you can even add ingredients. Uh, but yeah, I just want to swap out to anything that I have. I, I think we're going to pretty much sell out of everything. All right. And we are back. I think actually it might be end of the day. I didn't make 100 gold, unfortunately, but almost. So yeah, I made 68 gold today. <laughs> All these nerdy stats as well. I thought this was just going to be a simple little game trying to get rarer and rarer fish going deeper into the, into the water. There's so much more to this game. Oh god, what's going on now? We have PPL Express. Ooh. Uh. Oh my. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, does that mean I'm gonna get loot? Yeah, I have a... I, I'm assuming there's gonna be some loot down there now. All right, Friday. That probably means we're gonna get a little more attention. Who the hell is Ellie? Hello? Are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, they call me Dave. I was expecting a more muscular man. Wow, mighty judgmental. I already hate you, Ellie. 
In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the Graduate School of the University of the Philippines. I've come out here to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? I hate you. I don't want to work for you at all. Uh, I'd like to study ecology of the blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish. Are you going to pay me? Your tone makes me want to refuse. Uh, dude, I love Dave already. Dave, you look at his little angry face. Ah, uh, all right, Ellie. If you have a reward, I'm now interested. She didn't tell me what the reward was, but um, there is a reward. So that is good. I should have read that. It seems like the phone's a little more detailed than simply getting uh, people. Oh, my God. There's an album? <laughs> Can I actually? Oh my god, you can use the freaking calculator. I can even change the music. Dude, this is such a cool little game. Oh, dude, I, I'm sorry I'm fanboying. I've been following this game for a while, and uh, it's it's way more than I expected. All right, and here we go. Day number two. Obviously looking a little bit different down here. So she wanted two agar and two red starfish. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best to see what I can find. I'm more interested in getting super rare fish so we can earn some more money, though, because I would like to get out of the red and actually buy some upgrades. That would be nice. Uh, now, you have to remember, though, let's not go too deep. So I'm going to explore horizontally today instead of vertically. Uh, there's one of the starfish, though. Perfect. And it looks like the red agar is over here or agar, whatever it is. There we go. Slice it off. And now we just need one more starfish. Oh, look at that sucker. Oh. It has a red thing. That must mean it's aggressive. Just judging by its teeth, that might be the case. I missed it. How do I miss it? Hey, buddy. There we go. Ah, this might have been a dumb idea. Run, Dave. He's bigger than you. I'm just gonna have to kite him. I'm gonna have to kite him. Oh my god, he's got some major chompers on him. Dude, this guy's not dying. It's a good thing you're as slow as Dave is, because I'm just gonna keep my distance here. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't be confused. Come back. Ah! Oh god. Okay. Yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, this has to be worth a lot. There we go. Titan Triggerfish. Oh, that felt good. And look at that. We actually got some oxygen over here, too, in my starfish. So that side quest is already done. Perfect. And look at these little guys. There we go. Oh, my God. So many fish. Dory, come here. You're going to die. Never mind. I guess I'm going for this guy. He's prettier anyways. Come back. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're freaking poisonous. We, we have a lionfish trying to kill me now. Well, you have to be worth some money as well. So we may as well catch you. And yes, red lionfish. Perfect. What is that? Underwater scooter? Yes! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, how do I use it? Oh, shift to boost. I am speed. All right, I really want to catch one of these fish. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dave. Got it. Uh, Dave seems to be over encumbered now. I didn't realize that was a thing as well. I guess we should go up. I'm going to keep that oxygen there. All right. Well, we didn't die this time, uh, which was a major success. We got some really rare fish and completed our first quest as well. So there we go. Ellie's already calling me. God damn, Ellie. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. I hate you once again. I'll give you a reward as promised since you helped me do my research. Add my number. Ah, uh, I, I don't know if I should add your number, Ellie. What, what did I get? Oh, olive oil and soy sauce. You know what? 70 gold... Yeah, I guess I can deal with Ellie, since she's paying good amounts of money, it feels like. I collected 100 gold. Indeed, I did. This should be enough to repair what's broken. I didn't realize I had to repair things. Oh, he's referring to repairs for the sushi bar. Got it. Why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? Gun guns don't work underwater. But, uh, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. Anything to help me be safer down there. Well, this must be the gun guy. H hello, Duff. As a fellow big man, I appreciate Duff. <laughs> Why does everybody assume they're thin and muscular? What's wrong with a big beefy diver? Come on. I don't want to hear that from you. Yeah, Duff, you're 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 one to talk. All right, Duff, I need a weapon that can be used inside the blue hole. Um, pique my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say my hypothesis is that anything is not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. So I need to so that's what the wood and everything's for. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. Okay. Well, we have an, another quest to get a gun, and I feel like a gun's going to be a good thing to have. Let's get back down there. We still got to, um... Actually, we don't have to get fish today? I guess we're just collecting fish at this point. Well, well, well. That wasn't too bad. We got the rope that we needed, and hopefully we can find the scrap. There's something shiny up here. Not what we needed. That's the bullets. We have more rope, though. We may as well collect that. 
Oh, I see the scrap. Perfect. I just wanted to collect this as well, just to see what this is. I wonder if I get to keep these ever. So I got the electric bang stick again. Oh, what? what? Can I mine this? Oh my God, you can mine. Holy crap, this game gets more and more interesting. No, 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 no. Oh crap, I thought it would kill him. Oh, it's, it's okay, Dave. You are fine. So I got some more Titan trigger fish. I'm going to collect specific fish only because I can make more sushi if I do it that way. Oh God, Dave. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Kill it. Kill it. All right. Well, that was successful. Two fish and I'm over encumbered. That's something I definitely want to upgrade sooner or later. I also want to see just to test how much oxygen I get out of this. Does it fill all the way up? Definitely looks like it. Okay. So good to know. All right, Duff. Here's your stuff. Uh, basic underwater rifle. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. <laughs> okay. What the hell is this game? Ah, sweet. It downloaded. So we can craft it. Oh my god, there's a cutscene to craft the wet. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this game! I am so impressed with it. This is the most epic craft sequence I have ever seen in any... <laughs> oh, we got our weapon, yay! Oh, that, that was beautiful. That was absolutely freaking beautiful. So now I can open weapon chests underwater to get better weapons, I'm assuming. I was hoping I can continuously upgrade. I don't know if you can or not. I'm assuming that's what the gold's for. You might have to find your weapons, though. I don't know. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. So you can permanently upgrade, it sounds like, with blueprints. Got it. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a good time to wrap up this first episode here. Uh, it was a lot to take in right away. And uh, I'm just so excited for this game now. I, I didn't expect it to be this good, but I am fully invested into it already. And obviously, we've only scratched the surface. So yeah, if you guys like it, let me know in the comments below. And we'll check out more of the demo in the next one. And then obviously, when the game comes out, we'll leave off where we leave off at the end of the demo in that, if you guys are enjoying it, of course. But yeah, once again, this is Dave the Diver. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure as always thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one